Hey everybody, Jazzy Horse Girl 101 here, and I'm going to show you all how to make a Briar Stalemate Horse Blanket out of Priva, which is over there. Yeah, I only found this flying around, so I don't have Priva, but I just found it. And luckily it was big enough, so, yeah. I always use this model because she's the easiest to model on. So yeah, you're going to need a horse. And I'd like, like, the hair should be, like, you know, down, not like this one, because it's really hard to make a blanket on a horse like this. But, yeah, you couldn't even use a foal. This is my only foal, so this wouldn't make a very good model, because you have to get the tape on their chest and stuff, and you'd have to, like, get it. I don't know. But I wouldn't recommend using a foal like this, but you can use, like, a foal that has their head up or something. So don't use horses like this, or, like, falls like this, so I'm not going to be able to make a full thing, but anyways, you want a horse, and this is what you're going to need, you need a horse, tape, prep, doesn't matter what color, whatever color you want, and scissors, I'd recommend small scissors, but I couldn't find my small scissors, so I have to use big ones, okay, what you're going to need to do is take your prep, Open it up, and you're going to want to cut about, very correct, it doesn't matter, about this much, <coughs> big enough for the horse, and actually a little bit extra. Okay. Now you're going to need to take this. And you want to find the middle and, like, the middle end of the wrap. I'll show you in a second. Just let me do it first. Right about, oh no, there. So now it looks really goofy. But, yeah. Soup horse. I don't know. Okay. Oh no. Stand. Okay. So now, you want to... Take this corner and fold it inwards towards their chest. Then you take the other corner and do the same exact thing. And now you hold it there and then you need the tape. About this much or a little less. And you want to tape the pre wrap in place. It doesn't come undone. So it looks like this. And you want to make it as neat as possible if you want like good results. Yeah, and it's pretty even on each side. So that's kind of what you want. Okay, so now we're going to do this side. So, put the camera down. You're going to take this corner, and you're going to fold it inward, like this. Hold on a sec. Like that, and then you're going to take the tape. Stop, this is taking a long time. Okay. It really doesn't take a long time, but, you know, if you're not talking, it takes a lot easier time, so. Until it's like this. I could have cut a little extra off there, but, yeah, see, it's a little bit bigger than the rest. Then you're going to take the other end and do the same exact thing. Sorry about this. On the other side. Sort of like that. And now, you're going to take the scissors. And we're going to cut right where the tail is. Just cut the pre-rip right there. 
like so. So now you have that. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to round the ends with theorem, but so round the ends like that with your scissors. Stand camera. Yes, so then you're just going to trim all the extra off. Just round the edges, still rounding, rounding the edges. And then, voila, you have your Briar Steel Maze Horse Blanket out of pre-wrap. Yeah, I'm a very creative person. I just take random things and I make them into something else. But it actually looks pretty nice and I'm proud of it. If you guys think it's a good idea, you may copy it and make your own. Well, I would have made this video if I didn't say otherwise. And yeah, it's actually a pretty easy blanket to make and I hope you guys actually can make it with my bad directions. See you guys.